Welcome to my world, everyone. This is Like It or Not with Michael Lane, and Michael Lane is who I be. Uh, check it out, y'all. If you all want any information on my show, I have the links down there and stuff. You know, check me out. Uh, but look. I was thinking, man, because I, I was just kind of chilling, man, and and I saw a beautiful picture of a uh, plus model, uh, Lizzie Miller. And I didn't know, I mean, after watching that picture, it was a while ago. I didn't know she was under scrutiny from that. I didn't know she was insulted. It was a picture that she took for Glamour magazine. It was, it was a lovely photo, man. I was like, oh, you know, she's doing it, you know, keep doing it, you know, beautiful and all that. But they were throwing some just horrible, nasty insults. And then I think about models like uh, Kate Upton. Uh, Kate Upton uh, was called by so-called uh, nutritionists. They called her obese and unhealthy. Obese and unhealthy? Kate Upton? Who yet literally by herself, with no help at all, uh, managed to uh, be a uh, cover girl for Sports Illustrated. That Kate Upton? Let me tell you something, man. All you women out there, man, stop listening to liberal Hollywood. Stop listening to, to certain people. You know, I'm going to give some names later on. I know that sun's shining on me. Oh, because I'm getting the truth. You see that? So I'm going to spray some rays of truth to you, hopefully. And you all feel this, especially girls, little girls out there, man. I want y'all to hear this. There's a, a beautiful woman, Miss Venezuela, who, before I get to her, I was thinking about the girls that, that eat cotton balls. And then they, uh, you know, they, they become anorexic, bulimic. They, see, they eat cotton balls because when they eat, if they eat, the food won't go down. The cotton balls be blocking it. Something like that. You know, some certain thing like that. Uh, starving themselves, literally. But Miss Venezuela, she has a, a, a plastic mesh sewn on her tongue. And she said that prevents her from picking out. And here she is, little as can be. It's unbelievable. It's unbelievable the pressure. I'm telling you, you look in the Hollywood business, and this. Now I understand, you have to be a certain shape if you're going to be a man in uh, Playboy, and you have to have muscles or whatever, or you know, it's the Playgirl or whatever they call it, Playgirl. And, and yeah, it's certain to a certain extent. But you, you look at Hollywood and others, and in the modeling world, men don't have to be bone extremely bone thin. It's only women. As big as I am, I can make it in Hollywood. I'm humongous, and I can make it in Hollywood. I really can. And they wouldn't say anything if I had the talent. But women have to be a size zero or less than that. They have to be crossbones, crossbones, straight up skeletal. And I want you all to know, the ladies out there, the girls, please teach your girls better. If they don't accept you for who you are, look at Gabourey Sidibe, look at the other other so-called plus women who are so-called. Now, she's plus, Gabourey Sidibe. As long as she's healthy, why, why is everybody bitching? Every woman's body, and men, but every woman's body, I'm, I got to talk about women. Every woman's body is different. Uh, you can be healthy if you're a, a size 6 or, or size 16. And beauty comes in all shapes and sizes. You don't have to starve yourself. You don't have to kill yourself. It's bad for everyone to be terribly under or terribly overweight. 
just that it's just that simple, you know. But the hatred and and the discrimination uh, of the plus size women is ridiculous. The insults that's hurled against them, that's that's thrown at them, and they're beautiful, beautiful women. Beautiful women. There's beautiful women of all sizes. Beauty comes in all sizes. But the discrimination, you don't see President Obama and all these other so-called inclusive liberals coming to your aid, do you? You don't see that. They can't, they can't really divide off of that. They can't really divide and conquer. So they have to pretty much generalize women and say that you all are good for only doing things in the bedroom and killing your babies. That's the raw truth. But they're not fighting against discrimination and the hatred that's been just that's being just laid on these beautiful women. And they happen to be size 16 and up. You know, I think about these women that are stepping up and doing it. And I, I named Gabrielle Sidibe. And I, I think about uh, other plus beautiful plus women out there doing it like uh, Lovely Johnson. And uh, voluptuous vixens of uh, Cincinnati Entertainment. Uh, there's a Sashay Carter. There's uh, Sensation. There's uh, Sabrina Lorena, uh, uh, which Brina the model. Uh, Cecilia Curves. There's uh, uh, Brianna uh, Brianna Bet Brianna Bet. Uh, there's uh, Sadori Simone. Sadori Simone. I hope I'm. I think her name. So that's how I pronounce it. So I'm sorry. Sadori Simone. It, there's just great model and that's just a few but y'all you all should really show love to the plus models uh, I know I can't you know people say well why don't you talk about uh, the mid and, and the uh, the smaller ones because they already get that love but why don't you show love to them and because just what I'm doing right now I commend them I commend you all for showing that true beauty comes in all shapes and sizes. Uh, Chica plush. All of you. I thank you. I admire you. I honor you. And you all are beautiful. There's a co-host on, on my show. TJ. Beautiful women. And don't be ashamed. You don't have to starve yourself. You don't have to kill yourself. You just have to look at yourself and accept yourself. And love yourself. Don't let these idiotic men tell you that you need to be a size zero. But if you're naturally that, or if you're, you know, if you're that uh, size six, size eight, wear it well. But you don't have to kill yourself in order to get that way. You don't have to kill yourself in order to stay that way. Now, of course, like I said, I'm not saying you need to be unhealthy. But again, you can be healthy whether you're size six a size 16 depending on your personal body alright so ladies keep doing what you do no matter what size you are and know that you're beautiful you don't need no man to walk up to you and look at you and say you're fine or you need to lose weight or you stupid or you ugly you don't need none of that you don't need that to, uh, to prove a point or to make you feel bad Make you feel worthless. None of that. Just do what you do. Step up. Because most people out there are going to show you love. Because you're beautiful. Especially if your beauty comes from within. It will come out. Love y'all. Like it or not.